let's consider this question on jam 2025 possible mathematics question now the question here says make s the subject of the relation p equal to s plus sm all over nr so in this video here we are asked to make or in this question we are asked to make x to be subject of the formula for this particular relation now if you look at this we have two s's here we have s here and also s at this point okay so how do we make s to be subject of the formula now you don't go to cross multiply here okay you only cross multiply when you have a single fraction on both sides of the equation if i look at this i have a fraction here on this side here and this one here or there's a plus connecting this so at this point here i cannot cross multiply so what do i do at this point my first task would be to express the right hand side which is this as a single fraction and how do i do that i will take lcm of denominator so step one all right step one will be to take the lcm so take the lcm lowest common multiple of the denominator all right so how do we solve that so for this the question becomes p is equal to s plus you have sm that's s m all over n r i'm taking denominator i'm taking the lcm of denominator for the right hand side that's for this side here okay so what do i have there of course this is over one so we'd have something that looks like p is equal to for the right hand side the lcm there obviously is nr okay so i'm taking the lcm of nr that's this and one which is obviously nr so i'm having nr my first task is to multiply or divide nr by one okay so first task divide nr by one and that becomes nr over one which is nr all over one and this will give you nr use this nr to multiply your numerator which is this one here all right if i use nr to multiply numerator becomes nr times s becomes nr times numerator s the sign here is plus so i have plus divide this by this other denominator becomes nr divided by nr and this will give you one use this value to multiply numerator so it becomes one times sm so i have one multiplied by sm so i have this all right so let's get this done from here i have that p is equal to multiply this one here what you have there is n r s plus one times anything is that thing so one times two is two one times ten is ten one times fifteen is fifteen also one times sm gives you sm so i have sm all divided by so all divided by what there nr i have nr at this point i can see that we have the terms on the left hand side and the right hand side as a single fraction this one here will be this all over one that's a fraction okay it's a single fraction at this point what next here you can now cross multiply okay so cross multiply by the way when we say single fraction here's your numerator for the left hand side here's your denominator for the left hand side this is your numerator for the right hand side although complex it is still just one numerator that's a single term which is nrs plus sm and this becomes the denominator for the right hand side so it's a single fraction if i cross multiply it becomes this times this which is nrs plus sm multiplied by one that will be equal to this times this which is p times nr let's get this product here this times one is itself so that becomes n r s plus s m times one is itself is equal to p times n r is n r p i have this 
Alright, so at this point here, don't forget that the task here is to make x or s to be subject of the formula. And how do we do that for this case? What do we do here? For this case here, we'll simply factorize s. We have s here. We have s here. Let's factorize s. So that means factorizing s. If I factorize s, that means take out s from here. Take out s from here. If I bring out S, I'm left with NR here. You can see this NR. So it becomes NR plus, I'm left with just M here. It becomes plus M is equal to what I have here is NRP. I have this. All right, let's get the value of S. Divide this and divide this by whatever is attached to S. From the left-hand side, what is attached to S is NR plus M, divide the right hand side by same thing, NR plus M. So this, that means that this will cancel this. So it means that S is equal to the value here is NRP, NRP, all divided by NR plus M. So basically this becomes the answer to the question. So this is how we can make S to be subject of the formula okay now let me give you a task here for this same question try making n uh, let's say we had here as n here let me add an n here so you had mp then you have n here your task here is simple make n make n to be subject of the relation all right, I've changed the question here, and your task is to simply make n subject of the relation in this particular question. Uh, excuse me. So this is your new question here. For this question, make n to be subject of the relation. And you have, leave your answer in the comment section, and I will tell you if you're correct or not. All right. Don't forget that you can get exclusive content right by joining my channel membership all right so check you see the link to joining my channel membership in the video description you can join any of the available channel membership to get access to exclusive content also don't forget that you can get my available courses and books on my website simply visit www.joinimari.com forward slash courses or www.joinimari.com forward slash books Register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books. Okay. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video as usual, please do well to hit the like button, like this video, leave a comment. For the comment, I gave you a task. All right. Solve it. Leave your answer in the comment section, which is to find or to make n to be subject of the formula. Leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you are correct or not. All right. Don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time here or if you're yet to subscribe, Please do well to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and select all so that you get notified whenever we, we upload a new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends and your colleagues so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.